I'm Bruce Rosenbaum, steampunk reimagineer of Modvik, and today we're at my home, gallery, and workshop, uh, Steampunk Wonderland in Palmer, Massachusetts. Of course, you know, as we're uh, working on the church and bringing all this together, uh, COVID hits uh, last year. Uh, and so it was, um, it was a difficult uh, challenge for us, as it was for everyone, um, being quarantined, but uh, in a way it was really kind of gave me some time to work on my own artwork and design because uh, uh, I spend a lot of time uh, working on large commissioned projects for clients and here I was kind of given the opportunity uh, to be able to really kind of focus on my own work. So this project here is something that I really am proud of because I, um, uh, as you can see, I love you know old stuff, and uh, I've collected many things over the years. And one of the things that always intrigued me were these old brass pneumatic tube senders. And you've seen pneumatic tubes in in banks and hospitals uh, to transport you know checks or money or whatever. And but these pneumatic tubes, they were made by the Lampson Company in Boston, Mass which is a nice kind of local connection. And these tubes were actually used in department stores. And there would be a whole system of these brass tubes and these brass receivers that would run through the store. So uh, for an example, if you were with a salesperson at the sales desk and you paid for something in cash, well, they didn't really trust the, you know, the salesperson to handle the cash. Uh, in a register, it had to be sent to a central office, cash office. So they would put it in these uh, little receivers, or these little tubes, uh, and, uh, and then send it to the office, and then the office would send back the receipt or change or, or whatever. So, um, so this uh, is actually a receiver, but it's in a horizontal position. Usually, you know, you see this in the vertical position. This is where the little uh, center tube would come out. Here are the pipes where the, two, the, uh, the, the um, receivers would, would come through. And when it's in this position, it really looked like a spaceship submarine to me. And, uh, and in steampunk design, art and design, you really have a lot of this kind of um, uh, uh, time travel or space travel or submarine travel, of course, with like uh, Jules Verne in 20,000 Leagues. So this piece actually spoke to me as, a, as sort of a cross between a submarine uh, and a rocket ship. And what, what I loved about this was there was a window here that you would actually see the tube go through. So you'd have a visual kind of inspection of you know, what was going through this. And it was kind of a little boring window. And I said, well, wouldn't it be cool to find kind of an underwater photographic uh, dome where you would take um, you know, underwater photography. And so I did a little bit of re research and I found these two um, underwater fo photographic domes that were the perfect size. I mean, the diameter of the dome fit perfectly into uh, the diameter of the opening there. That is uh, incredible steampunk karma, you know, when, when that, that happens. And I, I, that happens a lot. And so, what I uh, was able to do is to, to kind of affix it here, and then inside is my, my little guy. Uh, he's a little uh, artist mannequin, and he's uh, driving his uh, submarine uh, airship, and he's sitting on in uh, a late 1800s sextant. Sextant is a, a ship's navigational tool, uh, but he's using it kind of as his way um, uh, uh, in terms of his piloting uh, space. And it has lots of different uh, elements uh, in it that are, are using um, repurposed parts and pieces. Uh, and other elements of this is this kind of uh, scope. It's an eyeglass kind of telescope uh, with a, a marble glass eye. And there's actually opera binoculars with uh, eyes coming out of that uh, going towards the back. And a lot of my work, I. I really try to fuse the past with the present and the future. 
And this, it's the idea of that when you're in the present, kind of looking at your current situation, to come up with the best ideas and the best inventions, you should also be simultaneously looking towards the past and the future. And so here represents kind of the, uh, the eye looking towards the future, looking ahead, telescoping you know, far into the future, but also these binoculars that are also looking towards the past. It's almost like two eyes to the past, one eye to the future. And that's really where you get the best inventions and the best uh, problem solving. Um, along with what I have here too is uh, lots of different repurposed parts and pieces. Um, in this uh, platform stand, uh, there are these brass fire hose nozzles. Uh, we also have um, some uh, bearing uh, elements here, uh, uh, an impeller, uh, which is kind of like an in interior propeller, uh, more fire hose nozzles. This piece is um, really great. Uh, Josh Simpson, who is a glass artist, uh, uh, creates these mega planets and so he's got like this whole world within this glass globe and uh, I'm friends with Josh and his wife who is a, um, uh, a NASA, uh, former NASA astronaut and uh, so I um, included this kind of as a representation of our galaxy and I uh, have some other pieces here and then this base actually is an upside down um, a book press. So there was like a platform here and this, um, there were like levers that would come out here that you would push and create pressure on the book to bind it, you know, to, to, so that the glue would, would, would keep and, and, and keep the binding in place and was able to convert it into this beautiful base. And uh, the screwing element here, which is still here, uh, it actually still works so I can kind of uh, move it around. So this, um, this kind of uh, uh, allows me to uh, create uh, steampunk art in a way that I'm repurposing uh, pieces that I really love and ha have uh, 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 um, adore in terms of uh, its history and what it once did, but then kind of giving it this, this new purpose uh, in terms of uh, uh, submarining uh, or, you know, uh, flying.